Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, it was such an honor to have you in class. Um, and it's an honor to be here tonight with you and represent the voices of many talented charter school teachers. Um, I will admit it's also a little bit intimidating. This room is slightly larger than my normal classroom. Um, but I would like to pretend for a moment that it is my classroom and speak to you about my world history class. In world history, we talk about the Holocaust, a very serious subject. We talk about genocide across time and around the world. We learn about the cruelty of human beings and how some people feel that others are worthless and can be just cast aside. And unfortunately, I know that many of the students in our schools today feel the same way. They feel insignificant and like they don't matter. But tonight, I see a room full of educators that are fighting against this mentality. With every patient conversation and with every sacrifice you make, big or small, you are telling the students that they are worthwhile. They are capable, and they can learn, grow, and make a difference in the world. And I would like to remind you of the same message that you bring to the students. I would also like to thank the educators in my life who have brought this message to me. Educators like Natalia Burko, uh, who's been my mentor throughout my career and brought out the strengths and skills in me that I didn't know that I had in myself. I would also like to thank my family for their never-ending patience, Shanna Parker for her steadfast care and assistance, Dr. Peterson and Gateway Community Charters, and the CCSA for all of their support. At the end of the Holocaust unit, I give each of my students a bracelet that says, you matter. It is my hope that we internalize this message. Whether educator or family member, we all matter and have the power within us to make a difference. We, may we never forget this. And as it says in Galatians 6, 9, let us never grow tired of doing good. Thank you.